Hi, this is module five, lesson 12. We are going to begin. Read the objective with me as I read it out loud. I can measure to find the area of rectangles with fractional side lengths. Now, before we get going, if you have a ruler at home, go run and go get it really quick. So I'll give you a minute to go run and go get your ruler, if you have one. If you don't, I have mine and I'm going to use it as we work through the problems. You might need it for the homework. So you can always make a ruler with a piece of paper as well. You can just fold it and your paper is only gonna go to 11 though. So if you think about that, if you're gonna fold a piece of paper, the longest it's going to go is to 11, which is fine because you're you're never really going to go past these numbers here. So you'll just have to section it off and make it as close as you can. All right. So hopefully you're back with your ruler. If you don't have one, that's fine. I have mine. We are going to start with a little fluency. You're going to multiply mixed numbers. Now remember, a mixed number, when you're multiplying it, has to be turned into what before you can multiply? That's right, a mixed number. So you have to change this to a mixed number before you multiply. Then you're going to most likely end up with an improper fraction. So you're going to have to do a little division because remember, a fraction is really a division problem to end up again with a mixed number. So I'm going to give you a minute. I'm going to give you four minutes and then we'll come back and do it together. Go ahead and... Okay, so now let's check our work. So this becomes six times two times three, I mean, yeah, three times two is six plus one is seven thirds, which is equal to six times seven is 42 thirds, which is equal to, you have to do the little division problem, which is, I'll do it off to the side here, three divided by 42, one, it goes in one time, subtract, ends up being 14, it goes in perfectly. Four times two is 12, and your answer is 14. Then we have to change this to an improper fraction before we can multiply. Six times four is 24, plus five is 29, over six times, if you wanna put three over one, that works as well. Now, I know I can cross cancel here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that because it makes my life a little bit easier. So it's 29 over two. Now we're gonna do the division problem over here. Two goes into 29. Bring down the nine. Two goes into nine four times with one left over 14 and a half is your mixed number. All right, moving on to the next one. Three times five is 15 plus one is 16 over three. If you wanna put six over one to have, make it look like two fractions, that's fine. I'm gonna cross cancel. 16 times three, 16 times three, 18. 48. Then we have 5 times 7 is 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. 39 over 5 times 2 over 1 equals, I can't cross cancel anything, so I have to do the multiplication. 39 twice, well that's less, it's 2 less than 80, so it's going to be 78 or you can do the multiplication if you're not comfortable doing that. Do the division problem. Five goes into 78. Hopefully you are checking your answers and they are perfect. Five goes into 28. It's gonna go five times for 25. You're gonna end up with three fifths. So 15 and three fifths. All right, now we're gonna stop and I'm gonna give you a few minutes to do both find the volume 
which remember volume is length times width times height. And you need to measure the length, count the length, count the width, count the height, multiply them together. Remember, it's easier. You have to multiply two, two first, and then multiply the third measurement. Go ahead and practice now. Now let's check our work. I counted five by two by four. One, two, three, four, five by two by one, two, three, four. So this is 10 times four. Our volume is 40 units cubed. Then we have seven times three, but you know what? Let's just multiply it like that. Seven times six is 42 units cubed. Then we have, you could either do 12 times two or six times four. 6 times 4 is 24 units cubed. Now, last problem is the application problem. You're applying what you learned yesterday to this problem here. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to have you work this out and then we'll come back and correct it together. So go ahead. Margo is designing a label. The dimensions of the label are three and a half inches by one and one quarter inches. What is the area of the label? Use the RDW process, read, draw, write. So go ahead and try that on your own. See if you can find the area of that label. Make sure whenever, remember there are two factors that you're multiplying together. So your answer is going to have squared in it, right? Okay, go ahead, go. Okay, so let's check your work. I used the method from yesterday. I created the, the box for tiling. I put my measurements three plus a half, one plus a four. I multiplied, I have four sections of my boxes, four sections in my box. That way, I that means I have four multiplication problems I just did. Then I added them up. I realized that I needed, I, I couldn't add these fractions up unless I created a common denominator. I went with eight. Therefore, I have three plus six eighths plus four eighths plus one eighth, which equals three plus 11 eighths. And if I break that down to three plus, I pull out eight over eight, that leaves three over eight what's left. So it's three plus one plus three eighths. Add those together, you get four and three eighths. Okay, so hopefully you did that well and you got it. If you didn't, go back and watch the video again. Stop it and rewatch to see what I did. So now we're gonna move on to the problem set. So go ahead, put this off to the side. Make sure you're keeping everything in your binder the way you're supposed to. All right. So let's go ahead and read the directions. Number one, the directions say, read each rectangle. Read, I mean, sorry, measure each rectangle to the nearest quarter inch with your ruler. So if you look at my ruler, I've kind of marked the quarter inches with my pencil to make them stand out a little more. So here's one, like this is one fourth, one half, three fourths, one, right? We're going in fourths. So I have, I have marked my fourths since I am measuring to one fourth, I kind of want them to stand out a little bit. So measure each tri triangle to the nearest quarter inch with your ruler and label the dimensions so that you have to label them. Use the area model to find each area. Here are the area models here. So let's measure across the top. Now, if we're measuring across the top, I'll move this right here so you can see it extra clear. All right, so here's one, here's a quarter, here's a half, Here's three quarters. So is would this be closer to two? 
Here's the two, or is this closer to one and three fourths? I'm gonna go with two inches. Then let's measure it along the side. This is going to measure, I'm going to say this is two and this is really close to a quarter. So this would be two and a quarter inches. Here's, that's the notation for inches. All right, so now I'm going to break up my my box i'm going to decompose it like we did yesterday so i'm just going to say this is a whole two then this over here has to be two and a quarter so i'm going to break this guy and if you want to use a ruler you keep your ruler because you've got it out not a bad idea to make it perfect or as perfect as you can so this is two and here's your quarter all right now we're going to find the area. We're going to use this, the, um, the box method to and add up our multiplications just like we did yesterday. So 2 times 2 is 4 inches squared. Then we have 1 quarter. Did I measure that right? It's fine. Okay. Then I'm gonna I'm going to multiply one fourth times two. So one fourth times two is one half inches squared. Now I'm gonna add those up. So two plus one half is two and one half inches squared. All right. Oh, just kidding. I need to use my my number in here. Oh, my gravy. Four. Four and a half inches squared because that didn't even make sense. If you start to analyze that, this is two by two. So it has to be at least four inches and then you have that little extra. So it has to be a little bit more. So I'm glad I caught myself. I was looking at the wrong number. All right, let's measure the next rectangle. Let's measure, and it looks to me like it is one and three quarters inches. I'm gonna go with one and three quarters inches by Sorry, I'm going to turn it this way, by one and uh, three quarters inches again, one and three quarters inches again. So if you were just to estimate, which we should have done back here. We could just estimate it. You know, two times two is four, and you know there's going to be a little bit more. So you know the area is, has to be a, a little bit more than four and a half inches. So now, if we estimate our our area here, this is almost two by almost two. So it's going to be less than four because it's not quite two by two. So if you want to use your ruler, you can. If you don't have one, you don't need to. So let's do, we have four multiplication. We have four boxes now inside. So we're going to have four different multiplications. Let's do it. One times one. One times one is one. One times three fourths times one is three fourths. 1 times 3 fourths is 3 fourths. And then 3 fourths by times 3 fourths 
is 9 sixteenths. All right, so now we're going to add them up. I have to make sure I'm using my, right, my correct numbers. All right, so here's 1 plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 9 sixteenths. Now, in order to add up fractions, you have to have a common denominator. So I'm going to turn this in to 16. I'm going to multiply by 4. Here's 1 plus 12 over 16 plus 12 over 16 plus 9 over 16. Now, at, you can add the tops. So 12 plus 12 is 24 plus 9, not 4 plus 9 is 13, 33. So this is going to be 1 plus 33 sixteenths. And that is your 33 sixteenths. Now, 33 sixteenths is an improper fraction. So we don't want to leave it that way. How many times will 16 go into 33? 16 is going to go at least twice. Well, twice, so 16 plus 16. 32, it's going to be, so it's going to go twice for 32 and 1 16. So this becomes 1 plus 2 and 1 16, which becomes 3 and 1 16. That is your area inches squared. All right. All right. Now, the rest of the problem set is technically there for you to do. And the back side, you're going to find the area of the rectangles with the following dimensions. Explain your thinking using the area model. So you're going to draw it out just like we did here. Label your sides. Draw your lines. Do, however many lines you have inside is how many multiplication problems you're going to end up with. And you're going to have to add those up in order to get your area. Remember your area is always going to be this is going to be feet squared. This is going to be yards squared. This is going to be yards squared. Now, I'll go ahead and I'll do C and D with you really quick. But what I'm only going to do with you is I'm going to set it up. And then I'm going to expect you to go ahead and finish it. So I'm going to measure. And I'm going to get 2 and 3 fourths because it's really close to the 3 fourths. So I have 2 plus 3 fourths. Then I have, this is really close to just a straight up 2. So we're going to call that 2 inches. This is 2 and 3 fourths inches. This one here, I think I'm going to write down, I'm going to write at the bottom so you, because we have all this work right here. This is going to be close to just a straight up two. Now let's go two and a quarter. Let's go two and a quarter. Two and a quarter inches by, let's go straight up. Um, all right, let's go three and a quarter. Three and a quarter inches. All right, so now, just like we've done before, if you want to use your ruler to make it straight, you can. Or as straight as you can. So right now, I have just two boxes, right? So I'm going to multiply 2 times 2 and 2 times 3 fourths, add them up. This one, I'm going to have 2 and a quarter. by three and a quarter. All right. 
So two and a quarter by three and a quarter. You're going to add them up. I mean, you're going to do, you're going to have four multiplications. You're going to add them up. When you get an improper fraction, turn it back into a mixed number. Let's measure these out so you have those. This is going to be three, this is just three fourths of an inch by two, and let's see if I should go a little bit bigger, just two, let's go two and a half. Let's go two and a half inches. So this is just three quarters. This is going to be two with a half. This one here, three and a half. I think that's straight up three. Let's go, yeah, let's go three and a half inches by a half inch. So this right here, there's just going to be one. So this will represent three plus that half. Okay, so in order to find the area, you're going to find in the area of the two boxes, add the area up to get the total area, right? Down here, one by one and a half, one and a half by one and a half, two and a half by one and three sixteenths of a yard. So after you complete that, you should be able to do this on your own at this point. You have there's no exit ticket. You're just going straight. Oh, it looks like problem one and two got left off of this. Oh, nope, it's backwards. One and two is on the back. Oh, you know what? I'll go ahead and measure those out for you so you have that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure these out. So one, one and three fourths of an inch by three and one fourth, three and one fourth of an inch. This is two, it's bigger than two, so I, we're gonna round up to two and a quarter inch this is three-fourths of an inch. This one is bigger than two, so we're gonna go to two and a quarter by one, two and a quarter. So it's a true square. Then this one here. So this is one and a half by two and let's round up to three quarters. Two and three quarters. Finally here, this is one and three quarters by a half. And this is, these are all inches. So you want to make sure you're going to have inches squared on the back side. You shouldn't need a ruler. Oh, here's your exit ticket. So I'll measure this out. Two, it's bigger than, it's bigger than two. So it's two and a quarter inches by, and it's bigger than a quarter, so we're going to round up to a half, one and a half inches. Okay? So, hopefully you are set up. If you if you missed any of this or something doesn't make sense, go back and rewatch the video. So, here is page one. Here is your problem set. 
backside of problem set, you're going to practice. You're basically you're practicing your multiplication and adding fractions and to find the area. You're going to draw area models to explain how you found the area. I know some of you just want to use standard algorithm, but that's not the big idea here. We're going to get to that. Uh, here is your exit ticket. I measured it out for you. Here is your homework. I already did, I already did half the work for you. I already measured for you. So it shouldn't be too hard. So remember, draw your lines. However many boxes you end up with, that's how many multiplication um, procedures you're going to perform. Then you add them up to find the total area. So what the big idea we're working on right now is multiplication and addition of, with fractions, okay? And to find the area of a, a rectangle. All right, good luck and hopefully you understand.